everyone. I wanted to do a monthly video. Um, actually, this is a few a few items that I've accumulated since my last um, video that I did. So it's been, I think, since October, November. And a lot of it has already made its way to the recycle bin. Um, but I, when I try to remember, I usually put it in a Sephora bag and it's you could tell that it, it was just stuck. And I'm like, it's time for me to get rid of it because <laughs> I'm borderline bordering here. So I just want to start off with um, facial toiletries. Cassie said she's going to help me. And that's not by choice. <laughs> so I hope you don't mind. Come on, Cass. Come on, move over. Come on. Okay, so I have three of the Neutrogena facial towelettes. I really enjoyed using these. Um, I picked them up at Costco um, when they have like the, the box of them. I think there's like four of them and then a travel size. So I enjoyed using them and I would repurchase them again. I also picked up a Harman's Face Value Cleansing Makeup Towelette. This is really good. It's oh, very close to the Neutrogena one, except it has like um, like a textured type towelette and it really picks up the makeup and it's, I think it's like half the price of it. I think it was like $1.99 and you get um, 30 pre-moistened towelettes and it was a very nice, clean, fresh scent, like almost like a natural scent. Um, so I would pick those up again. This is the Yes to Grapefruit Correct and Repair facial towelette cleanser. I like this. Um, I did use one a, maybe a year or so ago. Very similar. It had the grapefruit on it, but I remembered it was textured. This one wasn't, so I was a little disappointed, but I enjoyed using it. The This is a package of the Shiseido um, cotton squares. Love these. I stocked up on a few during their VIB sale from Sephora, so I picked up a few and I have a few on backup. And I also have a package of the Swispers rounds. These are okay. They're not bad. They don't they don't break apart as quickly as others do. <laughs> I picked up a big package of these from Costco. I think it was like a package of six. So there's like six things of these, and I still have half left. So um, they work. You yeah, know, they do. They serve their purpose. <laughs> and next, I'm gonna move on to um, facial facial products. This is the Murad Time Release Acne Cleanser. It was, I didn't see any changes on my skin. Um, I think because I have more hormonal breakouts versus surface acne. So for me, this didn't work. And I felt like for the price, I would have much rather used it towards other items. I'd gone on a facial and uh, the esthetician had recommended this. And for $36, it didn't work on me. So I would not repurchase this again. This is my Holy Grail Cleansers. It's the One Step Facial Cleanser by Purity. My philosophy, I absolutely love it. I have two big bottles of it on backup. Love it, it takes everything off. And I notice if I don't use a towelette and I just use this and a toner pad, nothing is on my toner pad. So I know this stuff really works. And plus you could do it on your eye makeup too and it it doesn't bother your eyes. Well, on me. <laughs> I know some people really, really sensitive eyes. But for me, it doesn't bother me at, as others would like if I only get near it. So I enjoy that one. This one is the Mary Kay Microderm Abrasion Step 1. I really love this. I can only use it maybe once, twice a week pushing it just because it is very abrasive. Even though it's more on the gentle side, it really does exfoliate your skin very well, especially like your neck and your um, like chest area. I really enjoy using this, and I think I do have a backup somewhere. Um, and if I run out, I would repurchase this again, just because I haven't found another product like similar. And this this really like a little goes a long way with this one, so I would I would pick that up again. This is a up and up eye makeup remover liquid. I I have I purchased the twin pack of this. Um, I enjoyed using it. It's not the greatest, but you the con was you do use a lot of product just to get minimal eye makeup off. Um, so, I mean, but for the price point, you really can't beat it. So, I would repurchase it if I'm in a pinch. Um, but I usually like Neutrogena the best. <laughs> um, so, I would re recommend that this one as if you're trying to save cost. It does its job, but just note that it does, you end up using a little more product than usual. This is the Lancome uh, eye makeup remover. It, this was from the Sephora 100 Point Perk, so I picked it up. I really enjoyed using it, and I think I have, I picked up another one too um, in the, a later order and I do like this and I would recommend it. This is the Mary Kay Soothing Eye Gel Cream. It's not a cream, it's gel, I'm sorry. Indulgence gel, I'm sorry. It's really, I really, I've been using this for so many years and I've never found a product quite like this. It's like a greenish with a hint of blue gel in it 
And I love it because you just put it on the bottom of your eyes and it just takes away all the puffiness and you feel like you've had like like a 10 hour sleep, <laughs> um, a good night's sleep. And you can have like two hours of sleep and you have the same results as if you had 10 hours of sleep. So I highly recommend this in the summertime, I actually keep it in the refrigerator and I put it on and it just takes all the puffiness away. I absolutely love it. And I have one left and then I have to stock up. <laughs> this is the Sustain Lubricant Eye Eye Drop by Alcon. It's the long lasting one. These are great. I keep them, they last a while, so I keep them one in our medicine cabinet and one in my pocketbook um, just for during this winter time when the hot, the forced hot air turns on, the air gets very dry. So these do help keeping my eyes moisturized. This is the First Aid Beauty Age Delay Dual Repair Eye Cream. Now you would think this size container would have a lot of product, but it's 0.5 um, mil, five fluid ounce. And it went so quick, I was shocked. It was like less than a month and it was gone. And I, I did enjoy using it while I did, but I was just surprised. I thought there would have been like a lot more in here <laughs> than the packaging uh, leads you to believe. So I do recommend it. Next is the Origins Modern Friction uh, Micro, I don't know if it's micro gentle derma abrasion. I enjoy this. I got it in a package and I use this in the morning and I like it because it, it gives like a nice glow to your skin. Um, so I like, I'll put it on my face, rub it in for a, se a few seconds and I go in the shower and just kind of like the steam open up my pores and stuff. And I notice a difference and I would recommend it. This was also in this package. It's Origins Ginseng Refreshing Face Mask. It was okay for me. I didn't see that much of a difference. Um, so I don't know if I'd recommend it or not. It's actually a little too small for me to tell. So I would, I'm open to trying a bigger size <laughs> to see how it really works. Um, so we'll see, maybe I'll pick it up down the road. This was in a Sephora's um, 100 Perk Point. Uh, it's black tea, aged delay, eye concentrate by The Fresh. I've heard so many reviews on this and I don't know, I like my uh, Shiseido Eye Cream, Intense Eye Cream Balm um, for my under eye. I like it a lot better than this one. This one, it had, a, it smelled amazing. Um, maybe for, I feel like for summer this worked really well, but I feel like in the winter time I still had those dry spots like over here. So I don't know if I would actually purchase a full size. This is the Rock Retinol Corrective Sensitive Eye Cream. This I picked up at CVS. I enjoy using this, but I can only use it at night because if you put it on in the morning and then you do your moisturizer and then you do all the foundation, it just starts to almost like, it looks like it's peeling. <laughs> like the, the product like starts to make these little rolls <laughs> and then it just kind of like gets all messy. So I can only use this at night, um, but I do recommend it because I do like the results of it. It minimizes the fine lines, which I'm now needing help with. <laughs> Um, this came in my Ipsy bag, not at the same time, but it's by La Fresh. It's the Eco Beauty Good Day Moisturizer and Good Night Night Cream. These are like deluxe travel size. They lasted a long time. I would say about three to four weeks. These lasted because you only needed a little bit and it was very concentrated and I loved it. And if I could find these, I would repurchase them again. And what I liked about it that they're cruelty-free, um, biodegradable formula, highly natural. So... You can't beat that. It's good for your skin. It's good for the environment. Next, these also came in the Ipsy bag. Not at the same time. Um, it's Mitchell and Peach English Gro Growers? Yeah, English Growers Luxury Hand Cream and Body Cream. Okay, here I would not purchase these again because they, they expired before I even got a chance to use them. And I only had them. Like one I only had for maybe two months and the other one I had for three months. And it was just, you could tell like it turned. I don't know if it was just the product or just happened to be the one I received, but I would not purchase those again. It's too much of a risk for me. <laughs> I'd be, if I just spent money on it on a full size and it was expired, oh, I'd be so mad. <laughs> um, this is Delani, it's the lip moisturizer in vanilla. This came in a package I bought at Costco like, couple, like maybe two or three years ago and it had the three body butters and then two lip ones. Um, and this, by the time I got a chance to use it, it went bad. So I didn't even, I think I used it once and that was it. So I'm going to be tossing that. This is the Mary Kay Extra 9 Emollient Cream. I always have these on hand. I love them, especially in the winter time. Um, they work great, especially on my eczema. I usually get eczema on my hands. 
Um, this also was in an Ipsy bag. It's the Roseberry Fig and Rouge hand cream, and it's made in the UK. It's all natural. I really enjoyed using this, but it is highly fragrant. So at work, everyone's like, who sprayed roses? <laughs> I'm like, no, it's the hand cream. But it worked really good, so I would recommend that. This is the Loxitone or Loxitone. Um, it's their Shea Dry Hand Cream. Um, it's the little sm small uh, travel size. I really enjoyed using this and I would repurchase this again. And that, that was actually in a set with these. It was, I think, last year for Christmas. This is the um, Floral Shower Gel and this is the, also the um, Body Lotion. I absolutely love these and I tried using it sparingly because they smelled so good. <laughs> so. I, Maybe one day if there's like a special going on, I pick it up again, the shower gel, because I really enjoyed that. And the lotion too. This is also part of that, it came in that package. Um, it's Precious Cream. This is for, um, for fa it's a facial moisturizer. I love this. This worked great. I wish there was more of it because it's like such a tiny little travel size, but um, I would probably purchase this again. I really enjoyed it. This is the Philosophy Amazing Grace uh, Perfume Shower, Shampoo, Bath and Shower Gel. It's a little travel size. It was good. It came with, um, I got it as a gift in some packet and I just wanted to use it up. So I liked it. This is a Shu Irma Youthful Bouncy Fine Line Cream. Um, I like this. I love the results it gave on my skin. I looked like my skin looked fresh. It looked vibrant. Um, it has like a slight glow to it. It is heavily fragranced. Um, and for that reason, I probably wouldn't purchase it again, but I did like it aside from the heavy fragrance. These are um, hand creams. This is the Esserin Eczema Relief. I enjoy using this and I would repurchase this again. And this is the Hand Food by Soap and Glory. I have, I think, one or two on these on backup for my desk at work and I would definitely repurchase these, this again. I absolutely love it. Um, I just love the scent of it. This is the Aveeno Lavender Chamomile Moisturizer. I absolutely love this. My husband, my husband's like, you know, what do you want for Christmas? I'm like, just give me a gift card somewhere. And it, so he got me a gift card to a few stores. And then for my stocking stuffer, he picked me up a couple of um, like toiletries. And this was one of them. And I just thought it was very sweet of him that um, he thought he thought of me and like the lavender and the chamomile. <laughs> so and I actually caught him using it too because one day I'm like, where did all the lotion go? Like a week, it was like a week went by and I'm like, I know I didn't use that much and it turned out he was using it too and he's like, that stuff smells so good. So I will repurchase that again. This is the Up and Up nail polish remover. Um, I picked these up like you know CVS brand or. Um, Target brand, I absolutely love this, so I would repurchase it again. This is, I'm sad to see this one finished. This is the Victoria's Secret Beach Angel Summer Edition Body Spray. I got this for my birthday a couple years ago, and it was a limited edition, and I wanted to use it sparingly, but then it gets to the point where you're like, you know what, either I better use it now or it's gonna go bad. So sadly, it's all gone, but I absolutely loved it. It smelled so good. It had like a nice, fresh, like almost like a Obviously beach smell, but it, not a coconut. It was almost like um, almost like a linen beach smell, if that makes sense. This is the Betsy Johnson Tutu perfume. Minus the tutu. <laughs> I had to take it off because Cassie would, I would have this on my vanity and she would take the tutu and play with it and then knock everything over. So I just took the tutu off. Um, I'm glad I tried it. It was nice, but I don't, I didn't love it enough to want to repurchase it again, but I do, I would recommend it. It is a nice scent. This one is Bliss uh, Rollerball Perfume. It reminded me a lot like the, um, oh, cool, oh, a little bit like Cool Waters. Um, but, wait. Yeah, it does. It reminded me a lot of Cool Waters. Um, I liked it, but not enough to repurchase it again. This is, this came in an Ipsy bag. It's the Bumble and Bubble All Style Blowout Cream. I love this. A little went a long way and my hair just had such a nice finish to it. Um, so I, I think I would pick this up and repurchase it again. This is the travel, like a small, a small sample of the Too Faced uh, eye primer. Loved it. I have a, the full size and I would repurchase this again. Let's see. Okay, these are the shampoos. This is probably one of my favorite shampoos. It's the Pantene 2-in-1 Shampoo Conditioner. The 2-in-1 general just for me works great, especially in the morning when you're running late and you're like, I gotta wash my hair because no dry shampoo is gonna fix it. <laughs> so I love this because in a pinch, it does the job quick. Um, and it, it 
like I, I can just brush through my hair and not have to worry like and not have to have a million tangles in it so this really does do the job for two uh, for shampoo and conditioning this is a Giovanni ultra sleek shampoo Brazilian keratin and argan oil um, I really enjoyed this shampoo and there's times where I didn't even need to use a conditioner just because it did such a nice job um, when it, it I don't know if it strips your hair completely but it left a nice finish where I didn't need to use a conditioner these are two Nivea Nourishing Moisturizers Body Wash. These were great for the dead of winter when the air is so dry, it's so cold, and you don't want to strip, completely strip your skin of its natural oils. So I like this because it kept your skin hydrated and it lasted, like I would use this and when I came out of the shower, I'd put moisturizer on and it would last like, you know, till the next morning until I went in the shower again and I didn't see any dryness. So I would recommend these. This I actually bought for my husband last year for his stocking stuffer for Christmas. It's the Nivea Men um, Sea Minerals Hydrating Body Lotion. And it was sitting, it was probably maybe like up to here. And I was like, you know what, I'm at a lotion. I'm like, let me just start using this stuff. And I absolutely love the scent. It had such a nice like beach smell to it. Um, and I, it wasn't like that masculine where it's noticeable. It just had a nice fresh scent. So I would recommend this. I don't know if they have this scent anywhere, but I know they have, you know, they have, they make other lotions and other scents. Um, next is, uh, things, things for the Clarisonic. This is, uh, I think it's the regular brush head. I switch it out every, probably three to probably four, every four months I switch out the brush head. Um, I don't use my Clarisonic every day, but maybe like three or four times a week. And this is actually the uh, Clarisonic Opal. And here's where the serum is stored in here. And it's like a round thing that clicks in. It's shaped like an egg almost. And then you click this button and the serum dispenses out of this. And, and there's this piece where it goes on top of um, the, the actual hand part. And this little round part, you put on it, you put the serum on it. And then it, in the machine, it kind of goes like this. I don't know if that makes any sense, but... I should have brought it out and then showed you it. Wouldn't that make more sense? But here's the applicator part. Um, and this part is what touches your skin. So you put the serum on here and it's on the machine and it just goes under. I think it's like 30 seconds it does. Um, I I notice the difference when I use it. But when I stop using it, I feel like everything kind of goes reverses. Like it does minimize the fine lines. It does brighten the undertone here. Um, so for me, I like using it, but when it's when you stop using it, you don't see the benefits anymore. So um, next are me. Actually, this. Oh my gosh, this is a knee and elbow light. It's a lightening cream. So it's when you have when the skin tones darker on your knee and your elbow. I don't know what possessed me to buy this because there's probably a ton of chemicals in here. But anyway, I had this before I even moved in here, and I moved in here in 2005. So. <laughs> So when I was cleaning up the vanity area, I was like, oh, this has got to go. Um, not even, I never, I didn't even open it and I'm not going to, it's going. This is the uh, Trader Joe's tea tree oil. Um, I, this was the first time I ever used tea tree oil and it's very potent. <laughs> it's so strong. Um, I didn't really know what it was until after I got it and I started to read about it. But I found that if you put a few drops on a cotton pad and then you put your toner it really does like a nice it's like a nice astringent for your face also if you want to put like make your shampoo that you're about to use that's in your hand if you put a drop or two it becomes more clarifying for your scalp um so there's a lot of benefits to it and i would recommend it this is the smith's strawberry lip balm i absolutely love this and what i loved about it is every time i get a tin lip balm it's so hard to get the cap off but this one